Hello, my creative friends. I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. I am smitten with the mittens on this card today, so that's what I named this video. <laughs> I'm starting out with a piece of Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Paper, and I die cut it out using the Birthday Journal Card die from uh, Sugar Pea Designs. This is the stitched rectangle. And now I'm going to pull out my mini Misty. This is brand new. I broke down finally over Black Friday and bought one for myself. After seeing my friend Christy use hers, I thought, this is just perfect for card makers. I have to have one. Of course, I love my regular Misty, but it's hard to fit it in the camera, and this little mini Misty is just perfect. So I used it to pick up the mittens. This is from a new stamp set called Holiday Mittens from Catherine Puller Designs. I inked it up in some soft sky ink, and what I love about this stamp is the little heart the strings make. Isn't that just the cutest? Oh, I love it. I'm going to be doing some water coloring, and I didn't want to get color inside the mittens. So this is another new product to me. Perhaps I should have called this my Black Friday video. <laughs> but this is some masking fluid and it comes in kind of a little marker pin. I'll have a supply list down below. But when you first use it, you need to shake it up really well and then you press it down until that blue masking fluid comes through the tip. And then I'm just coloring the mittens. I'm coloring the area that I don't want watercolor to be on. Then you're just going to want to set this aside to dry. And I actually got distracted and came back to it the next day. <laughs> so I needed to shake up my uh, masking fluid again. Can you see how it's um, kind of a creamy color in there along with the blue? It kind of separates. That's why you need to shake it. I also decided I wanted some snow in the background, just some white dots. So the way I did that, really simple. I just pressed down. Um, I pressed harder in some areas to get kind of bigger snow dots and lighter in others. You can also just use this masking fluid to draw something out, um, a name or any pattern that you want. And all you have to do is let it dry before you go in with any other wet medium. One of my favorite colors is this soft sky from Stampin' Up. It's the color that I used for the stamping. And I did a really light color on purpose. I wanted it to look kind of like a snowy white background. I also stamped it in that light color because um, the Stampin' Up inks can bleed. So if you get the stamped image too wet, like the string there, it could fade out. But I was okay with that because I thought I'm going to go over this again with a darker color and I can just use that kind of like a shadow. If it bleeds out, it'll look like a shadow. So what you saw is I'm just adding color all over. I'm kind of being random. I want it to look um, not like one solid color. I want it to have just some different shades in the background so that it does look a little bit like a sky um, or a snowy background. I don't know how to explain it, but I did want it lighter in that bottom right corner where I'm going to add my sentiment. So I didn't add quite as much there. I'm going to bring my heat tool in to kind of set these, set this color so I can come in with some even darker color. I'm adding dark right near the mittens so that um, they really pop out. And then I'm going to paint the top of my mittens with this um, Lost Lagoon. It's the color I'll end up stamping in. And I was going to leave it white and just do every other stripe here, but I messed up. And so I'm going to end up doing every other stripe Lost Lagoon and the other will be Soft Sky. This is really simple, loose watercolor. I wanted it to look flowy and that's the look that I got. And it's easier to do this flowy look than it is to be a perfectionist about it. It dries really quickly, so I came back in and just darkened up those colors with some more of that Lost Lagoon. I'm going to use this rubber thingy, <laughs> technical term. I'll look up and see um, if I can find it for you guys to, to put in the supply list. I got this years ago when I used to do Creative Memories. Um, but I just use it to rub off that masking fluid. And you can see it comes right off and the little white dots look like snow. This part here with the mittens has been sitting for a couple of days. It was a little bit harder to get off, but I was able to do it. Just some little bit of elbow grease, and it didn't pull up my paper at all behind it.
So now I'm just going to paint my mittens. First, I do a wash of water just inside the mittens. I'm not going right up to the line um, because, you know, watercolor, it will spread. <laughs> I'm just painting it in. I want it to be lighter in the middle and add some darker on the side to kind of give that um, the mitten kind of a shape and dimension. So all over with the lighter and then I'll come in on the side a little bit darker and then I'll come in where the thumb meets the mitten itself and add a little shadow there too. Did I already mention that to get ink on the lid, I'm just squeezing it together and the ink just transfers on there. And that's what I'm doing to pick up my watercolor. And that's just a little cup of water on the side that I'm getting my paintbrush wet with. At this point, you could just leave it or color in the string, draw on the string by hand if you wanted to get that no line watercolor look, which is really pretty. But I wanted to go in and darken it with Lost Lagoon because I didn't trust myself to freehand draw that string. <laughs> so I just brought in my heat tool to make sure that the watercolor is nice and dry because if it's not, this will smear. And since I didn't remove the stamp from my Misty, I'm able to just go right in and stamp it perfectly. Now with watercolor paper, I most always recommend using a Misty because that paper is hard to stamp on and get a good image. I'm going to finish up my stamping with a couple more things in this set. There's several different sizes of snowflakes. I'm going to put one of them on there and the sentiment down below. Included in the set is some fun patterns, including this knit stripe. So I'm just going to stamp it out, um, and I'm going to flip it each time. I don't know why I cleaned it off in between. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> but I stamped it with kind of arrows, if you will, going one direction, and then I turned it and stamped it the other direction the next time. And then ink it up, turn it, and all of this is in the soft sky ink. I'm going to die cut it out with the scallop piece included in that birthday journal card die from Sugar Pea Designs. And then I'm just going to layer these pieces together. You see, this is where I was practicing on the back. <laughs> Reed messed up and flipped it over. And I just adhered that to my card front at kind of an angle. And then I'm going to pop up my watercolor piece with some foam tape. For the inside of my card, I did a little bit of stamping. I usually don't show what I do on the inside of my cards, mostly because I don't usually do this part until right before I send it. <laughs> but this sentiment is something that I say all the time, especially in my thank you cards, but I'll say it even not in my thank you cards. And it says, sending blessings from our family to yours. So I'm inking it up in that same darker ink, the Lost Lagoon. And then I'm going to take the snowflakes from the holiday mitten stamp set and I'm going to stamp them around the sentiment kind of scattering them. Isn't that pretty? I love that. So this card is completely done and finished. I'm going to have some details for you over on my blog so if you're watching on YouTube you may want to head over there and see the pictures, see where you can get all the products that I use today. I thank you so much for joining me. If you like this card please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more from me. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!